hello friends welcome back to ccsp certified channel in continuation of our video series we are going to discuss today data risk this very very important topic not only for exam perspective but for but for your career life also before this we have already covered virtualization and uh, risk associated with the virtualization in, in lecture one and two so go through them once and this, those are also very important this is topic for I have already covered the first three topics on the cryptography identity access management and the cloud characteristics and you can expect around 50 to 60 questions from first three topics same way topic four is also important you can expect around 10 to 15 questions from topic four in the exam itself so as I informed before also the, this is the segregation I have done based on uh, my way of teaching otherwise there is no separate topic in the in the exam as a risk in the cloud but uh, they ask the questions and they, those are overlapping between different domains and data risk is being asked uh, uh, majority of the times in the exam we'll discuss what are the risk in the cloud associated with the data and how to overcome this but before we jump to the topic of the day I would like to cover the new promotional activities released by IC square and uh, activity name is peace of mind they always release the offer with the peace of mind activity only so they conduct many exams like CISSP, CCSP, SSCP if you want to write any of this exam best way is to wait for the offer that comes this time the offer say that if you enroll by 30th of June sorry if you purchase the voucher by 31st of May you may write first attempt by June 30 in case you don't qualify you have a free second attempt by August 15 and this very good offer because you will get a second offer and you go with the go to the exam with a free mind or peace of mind and most of the time you clear the exam in the first attempt only like I did and many of my student has qualified you can see the LinkedIn uh, feedback of them I will share the link of the same in the video description also and in case you don't qualify you still get a fair idea of the exam and the, your weaknesses so always go for this offer the time you might be watching the video uh, the offer has changed but the offer will be remain in the peace of mind so check for this keyword in the IC square website also follow my LinkedIn profile I'm normally post about the recent offers of the IC square there and to harvest the offers I normally conduct my batches and this is the offer which ending in June definitely either you uh, write for this or in case you wait for next offer you should be ready for the exam so you can be CCSP certified in 25 classes and uh, my result is 100% so far you can see the LinkedIn feedbacks of my uh, previous uh, clear students and I, I cover this whole course in 25 classes new batch I'm starting from 24th of May onward this morning batch is from 8 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. IST approximately 36 hours and definitely this is a working professional I shared the classroom recordings also and uh, though exam is in English I teach in English only but I, I encourage students to ask question in their long language like Hindi also I can explain them in the language they are more suitable the fees is 24,000 that's 300 US dollar but if you enroll before this you may get 8% discount and also if you joined along with the your friends you may get additional discount so write me at the CCSP certified at the gmail.com if you are interested and there's a free demo class is planned that is on 28th of May at 7 30 p.m. IST uh, zoom link I will share in this video description to join and get the course overview and see how, why it is important and whether you should go for that or not there are one more service I am selling this online recordings of my previous batches you can purchase them in this recording also I am sharing not only recording but my guidance my content PPT content and the question banks so you can purchase all of this on the nominal price you write me if you are interested for the online video recordings now we come to the topic of the day there's a risk in the cloud and we have already seen this in the topic one or uh, top, uh, topic for lecture one and two that there are uh, cloud has many benefits like scalability flexibility cost effectiveness but they have risk and the risk are associated with the cloud should be understood by the 
the implementer or the organization purchasing the cloud services the there are few risks which is very important that we are covering this though risk category is beyond that nsa 8 and the notorious 9 tgs 12 has given that list beyond this list also but this is the most important risk for the exam perspective we have already covered the virtualization virtualization and multi-tenancy related risk today we are going to cover the data risk their losses breach and how encryption can help in that scenario so why data in the cloud is not secure the first question is this why we see that uh, data in the cloud is not secured the same reason is why the your baggage or your luggage is not secure in the uh, in the public transport like trains or bus why do uh, why do you need security for them because they are the threats nearby so risk and threats we'll discuss more later also but i just give the brief, brief overview risk is the vulnerabilities or the the options which can be exposed by the attackers those are the risk in the systems but threats are the external attackers they use the vulnerabilities and uh, they hijack the systems so uh, your your data in in the train is not safe because they are attackers they are the public who are traveling with you you don't know them but the same way if you book any particular bus for going for a marriage you don't need to worry about the luggages and because the, the all the relatives are there in your bus but still risk cannot be zero there is always a risk the risk in in the definition that risk cannot be zero risk can be reduced to a level which can overcome or uh, can bring the risk to the acceptance level so if you and how you secure your data or your luggages in the train you add you lock them or you add additional layer of security by uh, by uh, having a person wake up all the night like this so you add security mechanisms though there is a risk but you reduce the risk you don't stop traveling same way in the cloud there is a risk but there is a solution you implement the solution and different cloud has a different type of risk like public cloud has a more risk private cloud has a relatively less risk same like uh, trains has a more risk but airport or the flights you ha have a less risk of the uh, baggage baggage is stolen but it's still the cases are there so that's why the risk is there but you have to understand how to reduce the same so we have seen that there are threats in the uh, cloud uh, because of this the data is not safe and that they are top three threats are data breach first one because the situation when someone who is not supposed to access that your data access the data so we don't know how safe our data in the cloud and because of this multi tenant in the environment if there's a design flow and that one customer data can be exposed to other customer that has, has happened recently when the dropbox was using the multi tenant environment and the the table which is storing the common data for all the customer get compromised so the data breach is one of the threats in the cloud same with the data loss someone can accidentally or in, in, intentionally delete your data and uh, there might be chance, chances that the backup you are taking is failing and you are not aware about them and because of this you may lose hold of your data so this is one of the risks associated with the data in the cloud and the last one is the insecure or ineffective deletion of the data data may be uh, csp may inform that the data is deleted successfully but it may remain there there are some tools they can rewrite or they can uh, re re retrieve the data which is deleted so if you leave the cloud vendor or if you uh, terminate any uh, instance there may be a chance the data residing there and can be exposed so there is no guarantee that the data deleted in the cloud is secure so these three are the top risk in the cloud associated with the data and encryption helping them to reduce the risk to their acceptance level and we'll see that how it is helping though we have already discussed the encryption in the topic one in the detail so go through those videos in case you have want to know or learn more about the encryption and how it is being used, used in the cloud so we'll cover the first top three use cases of securing data in the cloud one is the data in the rest whenever the data is stored whether it is object storage boot volume uh, block volumes 
everywhere the data should be stored in the uh, encrypted form and we are using industries using AES that is the base use uh, algorithm we have read this about this in the topic one AES is a st symmetric encryption algorithm that is being used widely in the industry on the data in the race case in the data in the motion we have seen that any communication or data exchange happen between the server and client or the VM in the object storage or from one place to other place over the internet it should be over TLS or SSL uh, and we have already covered this in the topic one Re revise those videos in case you want to learn more about the TLS in this lecture we'll read about the data in use this is a DRM and IRM and the data deletion techniques that's encryption and crypto shading in more detail so data in data at rest we have seen that the AES algorithm is most used algorithms for data in the race use cases and any any data is stored in the whether it is storage volume object storage should be in the encrypted form we have already seen the data in transit TLS and SSL mechanism in data in use case so DRM the digital right management is a technology aiming to control the data of the use of the digital content and it has a two main uh, categorization one is a consumer DRM second is the enterprise DRM and you can expect a couple of questions from this DRM itself in the exam is very important for exam perspective so consumer DRM protect the consumer rights or the intellectual property rights of the consumers uh, for the consumer perspective so they they mainly work on the intellectual property or the copyright of the CDs DVDs blu-rays ebooks uh, we are the consumer DRM we are more interested for the enterprise D, uh, uh, DRM this also known as IRM sometime information right management and the data is being used in organizations and uh, for the securing the data in use cases there are few example like Microsoft AD right management Office 365 powered by Microsoft Azure those are the use cases associated with the IRM and the IRM uh, what IRM do IRM adds an extra layer of access control on the top of the data object or document and uh, IRM is the agnostics of the location of the data data may be reside in the pen drive maybe hard disk maybe internet maybe attached on the Gmail maybe store offline online does not matter IRM protect the data irrespective of the location of the data IRM is useful protecting sensitive information uh, of the organizations such as financial documents or the some web pages those are restricted databases exist this can be protected via the IRM and they definitely is also helpful for the setting of the baseline for the default information protection policy of the organization so there are four properties there's very very important these properties and they are very important for exam perspective also so first is a persistent pro protection PP so IRM uh, should follow the content it protects regardless regardless of the whether the content is located we have seen this it is location agnostics so whether it is a copied document duplicate document everywhere the protection should be persistent this is the function of the IRM second is dynamic policy control the IRM tool should allow uh, content creator and data owner to modify ACLs and permission for the protected data under its control so dynamically remotely it can control the uh, the permissions of the data and uh, that's a feature given by IRM then the automatic automatic expiration so the owner data owner data controller should automatically set expired date and beyond that the data cannot be accessed so let's say a month or two month or a year is expired date set automatically those attachments or those uh, documents those being shared uh, it uh, the access will be revoked and they cannot be accessed and last one is very important continuous auditing so it maintained the comprehensive monitoring and the content use history so who has access at what time and what level of access he has done on the data side so IRM has this four important functions and at least one question comes on the IRM functions in the exams now the data relation in the cloud we have seen that the data can be and uh, cannot be deleted permanently in the cloud so there are four uh, known uh, methods in the cloud or the normal way of the data relation one is the physical destruction of the hard disk which is best one to use if it can destroy the hard disk you cannot retrieve the data back degaussing 
that is being used for the magnetic wiping of the data overwriting which rewrite the data and the last one is encryption encrypt the data and throw the keys we have discussed this in detail in the topic one but i quickly re emphasize in cloud we cannot do the option first because of the physical destruction is po not possible it is a multi-cloud environment and you are not only one who is residing in the cloud uh, uh, hard disk so csv cannot delete the data so first option is overcome second is degaussing uh, the cloud using the hard disk which is ssd in format so they don't get affected via the degaussing so degaussing also not a option in the cloud uh, 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 for the data deletion, overwriting definitely cannot be an option because it can we can retrieve the data which is written rewritten. The best option in the cloud is encryption. Encrypt the data and throw the keys. So this is also known as a crypto shading or crypto eraser, where we deliberately delete the key which is being used to encrypt the data. And very important to remember here we are not talking about the deletion of the data. We are talking about the deletion of the keys. If option comes, uh, the crypto shedding is a deletion of the key that is being used to encrypt the data. Or key can be encrypted again by other key. That key, that master key can be deleted via the crypto shedding mechanism. So definitely it reduces the data risk, but it introduces one more risk with the key management risk. And CCSP asks such question also that you have implemented encryption and you reduce the data risk, but what risk? additional risk you have added that is a key management risk because encryption helps in reducing risk related to the data but it add new type of risk that is key management and cloud needs key to perform an encryption decryption on behalf of the customers so there are three ways to maintain the keys one is the key along with the data with, which is fasted but least secure like you lock the door but you keep the uh, key along with the almaris only so definitely next time you want to open the door you can quickly open it but definitely attacker also can use that key and open your logs so key along with the data is fasted plus least secure mechanisms key in the cloud but separate from the data that is fast and relatively secure we have seen the hsm in that module one hsm can be used to store the data in the cloud so key in the cloud securely so that is being used mainly in the industry the option two the last one is key at the customer side at hsm it is based in the security terms but relatively it is not user friendly it is not very fast compared to second steps so second steps give the not only the security but also uh, the fast is it is also better options than top three so key management is very important in the exam and uh, especially when there is a bcdr or the data replication or the archive mode data is stored so key management we already have discussed in topic one in detail i have done i have added them just to recap here if you want to understand more about this go to go to the topics one lectures and there is a key one more concept key escrow it is same like we add the we keep the key with your uh, neighbor or somewhere who trust us we trust them and that is being used for emergency situations copy of the key with the trusted party is known as a key escrow so this for today we'll cover a few questions and we'll understand what type of question being asked on the data risk related so first is what what is the safest way to dispose of the electronic records within the cloud environment if it is asking about the cloud environment we have seen that option one overwriting is not a feasible option physical destruction is not possible because it's a multi tenant in nature degaussing also not possible so option will be encryption encryption or crypto shading whatever they call but if they give the physical destruction along with the agreed in the contract as option b we have to go with that option because because this is the best one to select for the data deletion but in the cloud it, it, if it is not possible that's why we will go with the encryption the next one according to ic square where should the customer cloud customer encryption key should be stored so we have seen that there are three ways either store it with the data store with uh, separately in hsm or with the customers so but we have seen that the the base way is store is apart from the data of the uh, cloud provider because they are the one who is using the key uh, uh, he, he, they may use the key like keys along with the data key with almaris this is not the best way to store the key 
so we can keep the key at the customer end we can keep the key at the third party key escrow with the hsm but uh, so best one anywhere but not with the cloud provider the next one is a drm the digital light management solutions sometimes we refer them as a irm also can be used to protect all sort of sensitive data but are usually particularly designed or secured which type of data so we have seen that we can we can protect all type of data but name mainly drm is used for the intellectual property rights data or especially the copyright data so option will be b in that in that case the next one which of the following characteristics is associated with the digital light management some sometime known as irm so we have seen that there are four properties one was the persistent protection second was the uh, auto expiry third was the uh, dynamic access control fourth was the the logging continuous monitoring and logging so option one will be pp persistent protection in this case the last one in this a cloud environment that lacks security control is vulnerability to exploitation data loss and interpretations conversely exclusive uh, excessive use of the security controls can lead to what so when we have seen that there is a lack of security or because of the vulnerabilities in the cloud we add more security controls but we feared more excessive use of security controls like more encryption or more protection what is ultimately can lead to so we go by in reverse order it can uh, negate the need of the insurance insurance definitely can reduce the risk but the excessive use of the security control has nothing to do with the insurance bring down the organization stock price stock price is nothing to do with the security controls is a risk to the health of the human safety definitely is also a not a correlated answer then answer will be a can lead to the customer dissatisfaction if we add more and more security control ease of use will get reduced customer has to perform uh, have to wait till the encryption decryption or the security controls get completed like if you add more security checks in your building every time if they check you at the gate at the entry points it definitely it does not uh, give you ease of use of those so that's for today hope you have liked this this information might be informative to you uh, if you uh, interested you can may write to at the ccsp certified gmail.com to enroll my batches you can follow this channel if you found it good thank you like my channel subscribe my channel